Resilience and strength in the face of discrimination. This isn't new for Seattle's LGBTQIA community. Some of that can be seen in images of gay life in Seattle at the Museum of History and Industry as part of their permanent exhibit there. Carol Sevens Deborah Horn took a tour of Mohai with its longtime executive director. It is an eye catching building located on the shores of Lake Union and much of Seattle's history is housed here inside the Museum of History and Industry, including images that help tell the story of the Emerald City's gay community. That's Shelley's Leg, the first gay bar that was openly identified as a gay bar. Opened in 73, so just a few months before the first gay pride picnic, and really a sense that there was a gay community in Seattle. Mohai Executive Director Leonard Garfield acted as tour guide as we looked at part of what is on permanent display at this museum he has run for more than two decades. You can be public and open and as you can see from the sign they welcomed all of Seattle's gay community and everybody else who had a, the right attitude. But there was also plenty of evidence that Seattle's gay community faced much of the same discrimination and outright hatred experienced all across the country. This picture really struck me. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Those are teachers, Seattle public school teachers, who are making the point that teachers often had to hide their sexuality and their sexual identity in the classroom. Teachers with pride still have to hide. Right. The history of the LGBTQ plus community here is fraught, perhaps embodied in the evolution of its pride celebration. The first time the gay community got together to celebrate in Seattle was a few hundred people in Pioneer Square at the Seattle Center and on vol in Volunteer Park. They went all over the place to celebrate and that was in 1974. The first official gay pride parade sanctioned by the city was three years later in 1977. And gay pride parades really became uh, civil rights movements. But always at its core, there was lots of fun. Which was really all about inclusion and diversity and just having a good time. Perhaps the biggest step toward inclusion came in 2006. That's when organizers of the Pride Parade decided to move it from its traditional Capitol Hill home and bring it here to 4th Avenue, right through the heart of downtown Seattle. The decision provoked controversy, but it stuck. In 2014, Mohai hosted Revealing Queer, a community-driven exhibit, a reflection of the growing visibility of the LGBTQ plus community in Seattle and beyond. It came two years after Washington State enacted marriage equality, all of it the result of difficult years of activism by those who felt comfortable being out. What the gay pride movement said is let's, let's go beyond that. Let's not stay in the closet. Let's face the discrimination head on and let's be proud in who we are and live our truth and we'll be better and the larger community will be stronger because of it. And that has been borne out. The first celebration in 1974, 200 people. A few years later, the first official parade, several thousand people, and today, half a million people. I think that's the history. A history still being made. In Seattle, Deborah Horn, Cairo 7 News.